guys, this is Les with Pro Cleaners Network. I'm here with Pump Tech, and I'm also here with Greg Tennis with Pump Tech, and he's going to tell us what he's got here at the show and some new products that they have out. So, Greg, what you got here at the show? Well, we're introducing our Aramitsu pumps, and uh, these fit, will fit in nicely with uh, truck mount equipment. We have our three and five series available in capacities. Uh, as low as three gallons per minute, up to five gallons per minute. The pressure range is 1500, zero to 1500, zero to 2500 psi. Our pumps are uh, have nice features, but the quality of construction. Uh, have stainless steel valves and valve retainers in our five series, and in our 309. Uh, Greg, are these plunger pumps or are they fishing? These are plunger pumps, our triplex plunger pumps. Yes. Nice. And very efficiently built, take any pump out of the box, turn the shaft by hand. It's a nice testament to the quality of components and materials that are used in the construction of each air pump. Nice. And what's the warranty on one of these pumps? Warranty of the pump for two years. Two year warranty, that's nice. Uh, the well, they look like they're a, well, a heavier built looking pump than a cat, from what I can see. It looks like there's definitely a lot more metal there in the head than I can see. So it looks like a very well built pump. Yeah. Uh, my, my pump background began in 1986, and uh, the, the feedback I get from customers that have uh, used and installed these pumps on their equipment has really made this uh, most enjoyable. Uh, We've recently, we've recently added our split manifold design sure. that's, that's been common on our 5 series pump. We've added it out to our, our 3 series pump. A uh, couple nice features that this will give you is four discharge ports. That's nice. It will help enable you to clean up some Absolutely. of your, your, your plumbing. Uh, yeah, you can add your pressure gauge line and other, other outlets there. Yeah, exactly. Without having to stack a bunch of brass. Yeah, yeah, yeah so you'll really save nice. on fittings. Just yeah. clean up the old raw. Really nice. Of your I really machine. like it. Now you're talking about the split. Is this right here? I'm looking at the split you're talking about. Yep, exactly. Very easy to service. To, to remove the head off of the pump, it's the four center bolts. Remove the four center bolts. The head slides off nicely to address any any uh, seal issues that you need to uh, to do. Your seal replacement is very easy. In fact, it's a slide-in seal case. There's no special tools needed for that. Remove your seal retainer by hand with your fingertips. Re replace your new seals and you're, you're back in service. That's nice. One, one six millimeter Allen wrench is the only service tool that you need. That's common in both versions. You could actually just basically rebuild the pump on the unit. You really don't have to remove the pump at all. Like maybe just remove the head slide it off exactly. on, on the job site. Yeah, that, that, that brings up a nice point too is that you can leave your plumbing intact. Yes. You can remove the, the, the cap of the head. Yeah. The inner manifold will stay that's in, that, in yeah. place on the machine. Now that's something very unique y'all to have that feature right there. What he was saying is you just leave your plumbing hooked up. Just pop the head off. See right here? You see the split right there? And then you can get to use sales without even having to mess with any of the loosening the belt or taking all the fittings off to get the pump off. That's, I don't know of any pump that I've ever seen that has that feature. Ever. We'll have to change that. To do, a, to do your seal repair, to do your seal repair, you do have to remove the complete head. Okay. Okay. But now, should you have an, an occasion where you have some foreign material Teflon tape, sure, uh, check valve hung open, yeah, exactly, well, okay. or something, uh, a valve issue well, to address, then you just remove the outer cap, and your your plumbing can remain okay. intact. Well, that's nice. Uh, okay, Greg. So, guys, this right here is the, how you pronounce the name of the pump again? Aramitsu. Aramitsu, guys. If you want to look at maybe checking out another pump, if you've got to replace your cat pump, or you don't have to be a cat pump, any pump that you got on your unit, uh, yeah, you, need, you need to take a look at this pump here and see what you think about it. Uh, it looks like the guys are building a heavier duty unit, just from what I can see. Yeah, the, so the customer feedback has been really great. Yeah. And interchanges for CAD, general, high variety manufacturing. Have. Give me a call with what you have and we'll be able to help you out with an interchange. That's really nice. Now, would you like to talk about your, your other pumps here? 
can turn work. that over to Sean. Sean, Sean has the, All right. the master of that. Come back here. To the All right, Greg. Well, thank you. And I'll get with Sean. We'll let him talk Thanks for about stopping by. Appreciate your time. Well, this is Pump Tech, guys. And we appreciate your time. Sean, thanks for letting us come here and interview with you. No problem. Uh, so you want to step up here and see what you got? Sure. Well, Pump Tech's been manufacturing uh, HP positive plunger pumps, high pressure pumps for the last 20 years. We introduced our first 204 series pump to this industry back in about 1990. I remember this pump. I Up sure until did. that time, in order to get any pressure above 100 psi, you'd have to go to a, a large oil bath motor with a uh, high pro pump. Absolutely. And I remember the old grease high pro twin piston. It and took with, a lot of horsepower right. to run it. With the pump tech design, we can do a nice compact unit that is probably the most efficient system designed any, in any market and achieve pressures up to 1,200 PSI. And the value in our pumps is one size. It'll fit into any carpet. Yes, nice. Good substitute to replace an existing pump. You bet. Number two, any one of our pumps can be rebuilt in the field with using nothing but a 3 Allen wrench in 15 minutes. The entire pump consists of two kits. Two kits. You have your plunger and seals and your valves. And just by removing the four Allen heads on the front and the two on the back, you can get inside and completely rebuild this. Wow, pump. look at that, y'all. Isn't that nice? That's so, the outlet and inlet, I guess. The cleaners no longer have to worry about having downtime in the field. They break down at a customer's house. They can be up and running and finish their job in 15 minutes. That's really nice. Now, for a guy to have a, a, a kit on board, what's something like that going to cost? He can rebuild the entire pump for about $60. $60, so that's a good insurance policy for $60 to have on board. That's and nice. We were also one of the first companies to step in with a powerful 1,200 PSI unit wow. that the market was asking for about five or six years ago in order to get to the tile and ground. Now, Sean, you're telling me you, you can produce 1,200 PSI on a single core? On a, it's a 15 amp system. Wow. So, in a carpet, if you had it installed in your carpet extractor, you'd have to have a cord for your back sure. and then a cord for your pump. Right. But that's still unbelievable that you're telling me 1,200 PSI and it doesn't draw over 15 amps. That's something else, bro. I can't get over that. I mean, uh, come up with pressures like that and not have to run twin boards is amazing. Yeah, that's really designing something there. Yeah, they're great units. Now, they tell us about these, maybe these units here, Sean. What, now, what is this right here? Your uh... This is more of our economy unit. It's a 200 PSI pump, same as this unit. Sure. Uh, except we use a polypropylene head. And there's two values to using polypropylene. Yeah. One, it's less expensive than aluminum. Sure. Number two, if you've got harsh chemicals, acids, solvents, right. uh, it's not going to affect the polypropylene. That's right. Aluminum. That's right. Well, that's nice half. No, the chemical's not going to have to affect the metal or the pump. That's good. Well, it looks like y'all covered all kind of uh, issues that's come up with pumping. It's really nice. Now, is all this 110, or do you offer 12 volt systems, or we do 120 volt, 230 volt, 12, 24, 36. Wow. We even have a 357 pump that will mount to a gasoline. Engine. How about that, y'all? Gasoline driven pump. That's nice. Well, Pump Tech's been around a while. For how long now? 20 years. About 20 years, and they've really come a long ways, y'all. I remember when they first were in business. And so this is great, Sean. Well, thanks, y'all. This is Pump Tech. If you're needing to uh, improve your performance of your portable, I highly suggest get in touch with Pump Tech and then see how what if they can help you out. Sean, thank you for letting the Pro Cleaner Network be a part of it. Thank you. We'll see you guys.